circuit we're using has two bulbs and a battery of four cells. Before we start, remember that the current flow consists of electrons flowing from negative to positive. And in a series circuit like this, the same current flows all the way around the circuit. The cells are delivering energy to the electron flow. The bulbs convert that energy to heat and light. We measure the level of energy provided and the energy used by the bulbs with a voltmeter. I'm connecting three voltmeters, one across each of the bulbs, and these measure the amount of energy the current delivers to each bulb that the bulb converts to heat and light. I'll also connect a voltmeter across the batteries, across the four cells, and this measures the energy delivered to the current by the cells. So, redoing this as a hybrid diagram, you'll notice that voltmeters are connected around, they're on the outside of the circuit. So let's be a bit more precise about what voltage, or more correctly, potential difference means. So when the voltmeter is connected around a bulb or a resistor, it's measuring the energy delivered by the flowing charge, that is a current. It measures the change of energy as the charge flows through. If there is a voltage, a potential difference of one volt, then one coulomb flowing through will provide one joule of energy. The voltmeter around the cells measures the amount of energy provided to the current flowing through, to the charge flowing through. The mathematics is the same, however. A potential difference of one volt will provide each coulomb with one joule. Switching on, we'll take the voltmeter readings and then transfer them to the diagram and think about the connection between them. Remembering that each volt represents a change of energy of one joule for every coulomb that passes through. Each coulomb passing through the cells gets 3.43 joules of energy. That energy is then converted to heat and light in each of the bulbs. Now you don't have to be brilliant at maths to notice that 1.67 joules plus 1.72 joules does not quite add up to 3.43 joules. And we know from the law of conservation of energy that energy can't be lost. It must have gone somewhere. It is only a small amount of energy, 0.04 joules. But that is actually accounted for by the wires. The energy has been absorbed by the wires as the current passes through. That brings us to a simple but important rule. That if we ignore the resistance of the wires, if that is insignificant, then the potential difference across the supply is equal to the sum of the potential differences across each of the bits, each of the components in the circuit. Thank you for watching.